CTE Pro 1 Truth Series video 24, center pocket music, diminished and augmented. Real center to edge aiming is a center pocket system. And as far as I know, there's not many American players, very few, that have objective center pocket systems. CTE is an objective system. CTE is a finite system. Now, at the heart of center to edge is the idea, uh, the fact that it is a center pocket system. In that cue ball object ball relationships uh, yield an alignment that uh, results in a slight overcut to the ghost ball. So if we were to place a ghost ball right here in front of this ball here, uh, my final alignment after I pivot to center would, be, would result in a slight overcut to the core of the ghost ball, which in turn will give me a nice center pocket entry. So, CTE teaches you how to make center pocket music. There is a special kind of sound that happens when you hit a ball with a medium or medium hard or hard speed and it contacts the back of that pocket. It's a, it, it's a very sweet sound. It's a sound that has a feedback that allows you to know that you hit that ball rather well. Uh, if center pocket is your is your uh, goal. So I, I know that I can get a nice center pocket entry uh, assuming that I can execute the shot. This is a 15 outside and I'm going to use basic CTE. So there's my center to SP15. I pivot, pivot to center cue ball. That's my target. Nothing on the object ball. And I get a center pocket entry. That's the beauty of CTE. It's a center pocket system. A byproduct of that is the fact that you can use those known lines, the sight lines, for the 15, 30, 45, and 60 for making slight gearing adjustments so that you can play a shot thicker or thinner in relation to center pocket. Shots that are played to be thinner uh, uh, can be described as diminishing the sight line. Slights that are, uh, shots that are played uh, uh, thicker to center pocket can be described as augmenting the sight line. So uh, those words just bubbled up in my mind. I didn't want to use thick and thin since I'm already using those in another context with the sight line. So, uh, these two words are not in uh, uh, the glossary for center pocket music, but assuming there's a second edition, those words will be added. Now, I can take that same 15 outside, and let's say I want to hit to the left of center. Then I'm going to affect a thinner hit on the object ball. In other words, I'm going to diminish the sight line. So this is an SP15. So I'm just going to see the perfect center to edge perception, which is center to SP15. And then I'm going to, I'm going to just slightly thin up the sight line. I'm going to diminish it. Do that. I'm going to do that visually. So when I land on this shot, and I, I can't emphasize this enough, I can't emphasize this enough. Bridge V placement. One reason that I love working with basic CTE, and I love disguise pivoting as well, but I cycle back and forth a lot between disguise pivoting and basic CTE, and consequently I use them both during my competition. I love Pro 1, and that's a great method. I like Bustamante style half ball pivot, but these are the two that I have 
evolved into. You may evolve into something, you know, quite different. You may love pro one. You may love half ball pivoting. Uh, but if you want to really get grounded in CTE, take my advice and master basic CTE so that you can learn to work with bridge V placements for being inside and outside of each of the sight lines. If you do that, you will be thanking me later. I can't think of any greater thing that you can do. You, of course, you have to be able to learn to see cue ball object ball relationships from parallax. But getting that bridge V just to the inside or just to the outside of the sight line so that you can step the cue ball and your, and your bridge V can be on that step line, that's the perfect place to refine it should it need refinement. So, I'm going to diminish the sight line, which means I'm going to get a little bit of a left uh, entry into the pocket. So I'm, I, I'm, I'm hoping to go into this section of the pocket. So when I, when I drop down, I'm automatically looking to have slightly adjusted my sight line to be just outside of SP15. So that looks real good right there. I went right into the left side of the pocket. No target on the object ball. I still step the cue ball. The cue ball is still my target. Yes, I used feel there. But my feel was based on something that I know. Something that I'm an expert in. Something that I've mastered. CTE is an objective, finite system. And that's what, it, that's what makes it so easy to adjust from. So we can sort of take that same shot, 15 outside, and let's say, I, I know that a 15 outside gives me a reasonably strong center pocket entry, but let's say I want to go thicker to center. I'm going to augment the sight line. That means I'm going to go thicker I will go to the left in this case, whereas when I diminish the sight line, I went to the right. That's just logic. And I, I know some of you are thinking, well, I could do this with ghost ball or contact points or whatever. True. I can do that too. But I, I'm showing you how CTE works. And you can use this all over the table and what what's the, uh, the 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 beauty of this is that you have an objective sight line to work with for making your adjustments over and over and over and over you're working with four sight lines 15 and the 30 and you work the fire out of those two and then you get a 45 Occasionally, then you get the 60, uh, a little bit less frequently. But you're learning to work the same lines over and over and over again for connecting with these pockets. So I want to go. I want to go thicker on this shot. I'm going to augment the sight line. So I know that I'm going to go. There's my center to SP15. I know I'm going to go a little bit thicker. And yes, that's by feel, but it's based on something that I know. So when I drop down, the building blocks that I have in place are going to manifest themselves. Uh, my arm is going to be in the out position. My bridge V is going to be on the outside of the sight line. My head is going to be poked to the left at parallax. Uh, I will have you know, essentially solve the shot with left edge of the cue ball to object ball A. All the building blocks are in place. And there's, there are no hurdles to really stumble over once you, once you learn the system and get proficient with it. 
So, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to augment the sight line here. So, arm's going to go out, bridge V's going to go out. There's my SP15 to make center pocket music, so I'm going to augment that a little bit by going thicker. So, so there we are, we're thicker. Then I pivot to center. And I absolutely went to the right side of the pocket. There's no target on the Aussie ball. There's no target on the object ball for either of those shots. My target was center cue ball when I pivoted to center. Keep in mind that when I'm doing basic CTE, essentially what I'm doing is I'm working the gearing process that can start right here. But when I'm moving into this shot, I might be going back and forth just a little bit. So essentially what I'm doing is just gearing and re-gearing, gearing and re-gearing until I get the center cue ball from my parallax position geared up, ticked up with SP15. Now, let's don't forget what the sight line is all about. When I see this sight line, when I see this perfect sight line, that means this aiming edge tick here is aligned to object ball A, that one tick. It all happens because I've learned to see cue ball object ball relationships from parallax. So when I'm in this position right here, if I put my attention on parallax, there's absolutely a connection between the inside quarter of the cue ball and the core of the object ball. So, two new words today. Diminished. When you diminish the sight line, you're just manipulating the sight line visual to be thinner for purposeful thinner entry into the pocket. Augmented means you're augmenting the sight line so that you can have a thicker entry into the pocket. Um, seems like there was one other thing that I wanted to, to uh, touch base on. Yes, this is the beauty of my truth series. These two words surface, but they've been surfacing for a little while. And it was just this morning that I decided to use them so I can bring them here to the Truth Series to share with you. Just know that I'm all in to assist you with learning the intricacies and the details of centered edge aiming under the umbrella of my work, CTE Pro 1. So, I'm here to help you, and this will be true. You need to be all in, too. CTE involves a reprogramming of how you see things visually. It involves a reprogramming of some things that you do physically. But it is, but it will be worthwhile. It is worthwhile. Because I'm confident. I'm 100% certain that this is how you can get on track for reaching your full potential.